Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today I am gonna show you the overview for CR Droid ROM for Nexus 5. This ROM is based on CM12. Now CR Droid ROM provides Android version 5.0.2. I am running the latest build of CR Droid that released on 27th of Feb 2015. Now let's check out the customization. Customization menu can be seen under a tab called CR Droid Custom. The first option is status bar. Here you can customize the clock style. Means you can keep the clock in right, center, left or keep it hidden. Then you can enable the AMPM indicator. Then you can change the battery indicator style. That is to icon portrait, icon landscape, circle, text or hidden. Then you can enable the battery percentage inside the icon, next to icon or keep it hidden. Then you can enable the brightness control over status bar. Then you can also enable the notification count and supervisor indicator on status bar. The next option is network traffic. Here you can enable the network monitor on status bar. It will show you the downloading and uploading speed for your network. The next option is heads up notification. Here you can enable the swipe behavior for your heads up notification. You can change the different timeouts for your notifications. Then next is you can add any specific app in a DND mode or in a blacklist mode. Then next option is Reference Panel. You can enable or disable the search bar in the menu. Then you can enable or disable clear all button in the settings menu. And you can also customize location for clear all button. It is top right and top left. Then you can enable clear all button as a clear all task button. Means it will clear all the foreground and background tasks. Then you can also enable Omni Switch as your Recents Menu. Then next option is Lock Screen. Here the first option is Middle Screen Shortcuts. You can add any app as a Middle Screen Shortcut here. Then the next option is Bottom Corner Shortcuts. Here you can customize the Bottom Corner Shortcuts of your Lock Screen. Then next option is Display. Here you can customize the LC density of your display. Then next option is app circle bar. You can enable the app circle bar from this option. It will show you the apps in a scrolling manner. You can customize the app inside this bar and you can also customize the width, position and height of a trigger region for app circle bar. The next is gesture anywhere. By enabling this, you can assign a specific gesture for a specific application. You can customize the option for a you can customize the trigger region for a you can customize the location and a trigger region for the gesture and for a gesture anywhere. You can customize the location and a trigger region for gesture anywhere. Then next is animations. Here you can customize all system animation and toast animation. Then next is Ad Blocker. You can enable or disable the Ad Blocker from here. It will block all the ads throughout your system. Then next is Screen Recorder. You can customize the settings of a screen recorder from here. Means you can enable the external audio recording. Then you can change the video size and you can also vary the bitrate for your video. Then next is Wakelock Blocker. You can block system wakelock so it will not drain your battery. Then next customization can be the next customization can be found under tab called notification driver. Here the first option is quick pull down. You can enable the quick pull down of a quick setting from a right edge or a left edge. Then you can enable weather in a status bar. Then you can enable the weather in your status bar. Then next option is select and order tiles. You can change the order of a tiles in a quick setting menu and you can also add tiles to the quick setting menu. Then next option is enlarge first row. You can enlarge the first row in a quick setting panel. The next option is show brightness slider. You can enable or disable the brightness slider in a quick setting panel. The next is show four tiles per row. As you can see I have enabled it so it will show the four tiles in a row. The next is advanced location setting. It will enable the advanced location setting for a location toggle. As you can see when I click on location toggle it is showing me advanced setting. Now another customization can be found under tab called buttons. 
here you can enable or disable the navigation bar then you can enable the left handed mode then next option is navigation bar dimension here you can vary the height and width of the navigation bar the next option is navigation button tint you can apply any color tint to a navigation button then next is buttons and layout here you can customize your bar, navigation bar button and layout as you can see you can add up to 5 buttons to a navigation bar then next is navigation ring target you can add a custom ring target to your navigation ring then next is show arrow keys while typing it will enable the arrow keys while typing so as you can see when i enable a keyboard the arrow keys are shown in the navigation bar then next is power menu here you can customize the power menu you can enable or disable this toggle as per your requirement then next is end call you can enable your power button as the end call button and then next is wake up device you can enable you can wake up your device using a volume buttons and you can also use your volume button as a playback control button then under display setting there is the option to enable double tap to sleep feature by enabling this feature your phone will go to sleep when you double tap on the shutter bar then you can also enable the ambient display then there is the option of expand the desktop so you can so you can expand your desktop for all the application or for a specific application then you can customize the lights for a battery and notification then this rom has also provided the privacy setting so you can enable the privacy guard for a specific app then you can add any unwanted number to a blacklist and there is the option of wiper push also as this rom is based on cm12 this rom has included a theme engine so you can customize your rom as per your requirement using the theme engine now let's talk about battery life the battery life of this rom is stable and very good i am impressed with the battery life of this rom i have tested the battery life of this rom in two ways one the stock kernel and one with the element lex kernel with the stock kernel the battery lasted me along a one day with a screen on time of 3 and 1/2 hour to 4 hours while with the element lex kernel the battery life was excellent the screen on time with the element lex kernel was around 4 and 1/2 hour to 5 hours and the standby time was excellent So, so I will recommend to you to install this ROM with the Elementor kernel. It will give the best battery life. So, the, so the CRDroid ROM is pretty good, stable, and excellent in terms of battery life. The ROM has also provided pretty good customization. So, I will recommend to you to check out this ROM. I will post the link for this ROM in my description. So, if you like this video, please hit the like button below and share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. You can also follow me on Google Plus, Facebook, and my blog. So thank you for watching my video. I will see you in my next video.